I'm going through a lot of carrots now that um, I add them to the dog food because they're very good for dogs. You get too keen on them so it's better if they're actually squished down a bit. It does tend to leave some of the carrots and eat just the meat. But when I went shopping yesterday and bought a few things including the corn which is in the carrot at the moment I'm going to dehydrate some of the corn and also some carrots so there's two bags here uh, two pound in each bag so that's four pound of carrots I'm going to uh, dehydrate them so I'll get on with that I've scrubbed these carrots and um, cut the bottoms and tops off and now I'm just going to do exactly the same as I did for my canned carrots which is, whoops, uh, put them through the chopper and chop them all up so when I've got all these done I'll come back. Four pounds of carrots, I scrub them and then I've cut them up in small pieces. So I'm now going to blanch them for about three minutes. So my water is boiling up for that. Once I blanch them, I'll be putting them on my dehydrator. And yes, I've got some so we can't. Yes, uh, I've got some sweet corn as well to go with them. So, it's waiting for my water to boil and my can to finish because I've got sweet corn in my can. See you in a bit. The carrots. Dice all up. I'm going to blanch them for about three minutes and then put them on my dehydrator and I'll bring you back when I've done that. I've just blanched the second lot and now I'm going to put them on my tray. Now, although these are touchy, they will shrink a hell of a lot when they uh, dehydrate. That's why I've got these mesh things on, because they will de um, decrease in size no end. So... I've just got one layer, I haven't put piled them up on top of one another and I'll get the rest of my dehydrator. Yeah, I've got bits of plastic here because I've just been cutting the mesh so it fits better. Because the holes in my, my dehydrator are far too big. I have two trays of sweet corn and one, two, three trays of carrots. Now, according to me, uh, the bowl book of canning and preserving. Corn and carrots, once they've been blanched, need to go on uh, 125 degrees, which is 52. 
So that's what I'm doing. Fifty. Fifty one. Fifty two. And it's told the corn is hard and the carrots it says are brittle and tough so we'll leave them for the rest of the afternoon and overnight see how they are in the morning I did start a video of me dehydrating some corn and uh, carrots and then I broke my camera so I didn't finish it off but I've still got that footage so I'm just showing you now uh, there's another jar of this is the sweet corn this is another small jar downstairs and that's five ears of corn all together and this it's in a pint size uh, container and that is four pound carrots <laughs> you would not think that but it's four pound carrots dehydrated so they're going to go up here Thank you. Bye. It's a pearl.